Bonnie, happy Sunday. Check it out. I trimmed my hair last night. It was getting a little long. <laughs> I like to trim it in the summer because it's so hot. And today is one of those really hot, muggy days. It's weird because the temperature is not that high, but the humidity is up. And we went to the beach. We walked down there and um, the flies are biting, which means it's going to rain. We're in kind of a marine warning um, area. I see there's thunderstorms coming. So I wanted to I wanted to back off a little bit from fall today because you know me, I tend to go a little bit overboard with fall, but there are so many wonderful beachy tropical scents that we should all be enjoying. Oh, now the sun just came out. Now it's going to get hot. Um, that we should be enjoying in July. And it's only June 26th. And I actually pulled, oh my gosh, you guys, I pulled a whole bunch of stuff out here. One of my viewers gave me a really good idea to do a tropical collection, bad to best. I like that. That is so awesome. So I kind of arranged these in a little bit of an order. It's hard to do a ranking when you've got this money, but I definitely have the scents that are in my bad list. <laughs> so I'm going to start with those and then we're going to kind of move over to the scents that I like. So Bath and Body Works does a really good job with coconut. They do a really good job with beach scents and tropical scents. So if you're someone who likes to wear those really pretty beachy tropical scents, Bath and Body Works is definitely the place to be. And after compiling this video, I'm like, you know what? I'm not giving them enough credit. They did a fabulous job over the past couple of years um, with tropical scents. It's kind of funny when you put them all together. So let's start with the bad ones first, because that's that's always fun to find out what I don't like for me too. <laughs> and then we'll move to the good. So Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I have never liked this one. It's their flagship in the tropical collection. It is passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. I don't think it reacts well to my skin. It smells a little sour. It just isn't good. I don't know. I do not like this one. I would say this is like tops on my bad list for any of the tropical. And it's funny because like I said, it's in the, it's in the flagship, you know, Bahamas and Waikiki, but I don't like it at all. Another one, um, that I never liked very much, and I know a lot of people like this one, is the Beachfront Blanket. It's super fresh. This came out last year. I'm trying to figure out if there is a dupe this year for Beachfront Blanket. It's, I don't know, it smells kind of like white t-shirt. It's like laundry detergent. I don't like this one at all. It smells like freshly laundered towels, but you know me, I'm a foodie. So that one is definitely not on my yay list. Um, summertime Surf. This came out in December, believe it or not. It's Vanilla Breeze, Sea Salt Sands, and Sunny Coconut. This didn't do anything for me. I thought it was poor packaging, and um, I thought it was kind of a watered-down scent. I think it's a dupe of something, and I don't even know what it's a dupe of. I just kind of passed on by Summertime Surf. <laughs> um, Honolulu Sun, not my favorite. I know this was like a huge favorite for so many people. Um, it's a little too suntanny. Um, it's funny because Sunkissed is also on my list of scents I don't like. But the funny thing is I can't even find my Sunkissed because I don't like it at all. I don't know what the heck I did with it. Um, but it's gone. I don't like Honolulu Sun as much. It's not that it's a bad scent. It's just that it's not my scent. And it's very heavy like on um, like a suntan lotion um, vibe. I just don't like it. Um, speaking of vibes, that was a good segue. I didn't even know I was grabbing this one. Happy Vibes is back for some annual sale. I didn't even talk about it. It is, oh gosh, I can't even read this. Uh, pink citrus, crisp pear, fresh honeysuckle, sheer vetiver, and dewy orchid. It's always a summer scent. I don't like it. I don't not like it. It's just not, it's not on my radar. I don't know. A lot of people like Happy Vibes for summer. Um, it doesn't even really fit with the tropical or the beach to me. I just kind of threw it in because I haven't talked about it at all. Oh my gosh, poor Beach Nights. I wanted to love Beach Nights when I heard it was coming back. Um, toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. Mm -mm, I don't know why I don't like this one at all. It just doesn't do anything for me. Um, I like the Toasted Marshmallow. I, I don't like the Driftwood. I don't like the Sea Salt. That's definitely um, a no for me. 
So now we're getting into the scents um, that are a little bit. Um, oh wait, I get two more that are on my bad list. <laughs> I got my I got my scent. Oh wait, no, I got three more on my bad list. You know, it's hard to keep them organized in my bin here. Um, I got three more on my bad list, and then we're gonna move into the kind of. Um, more towards the ones that I like, and they're going to move towards the best. So, three more that I don't like. Sunrise Sale was a little bit too, um, I don't know, it's just too harsh for me. It's a This one came out a couple of years ago. It's just very nautical. <laughs> I don't know, I did not like it. Too fresh. I'm not a huge fan of fresh scents, you guys. Oh my gosh, Hibiscus Paradise is a total no for me. I do not like this at all. It reminds me of Sunkissed um, or Honolulu Sun with... Oh, like a floral note. I don't like that one at all. Um, same with white t-shirt. Not a fan. Uh, crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. It smells too much like um, laundry detergent for me. This is a no. Believe it or not, I do use unscented laundry detergent. So maybe that's why I don't like that one. I'm just not a fan. So now we're moving into ones... Um, that I like better. So Saltwater Breeze is not a favorite of mine. They just redid the packaging, as we all know. I don't not like it, though. I think it's a solid mm -hmm. summer scent. A lot of people love this one. I like it better than the other ones, though. Um, I didn't even send those because it's an old one. I think I brought the new one out. Um, at the Beach. I like At the Beach. At the Beach is nice, but it's not like I wear At the Beach a lot. Remember In the Sun? I liked In the Sun a lot better. They need to bring that one back. Maybe next year we'll see In the Sun. Um, at the Beach is something that I have in my collection, but I never wear it. Um, it's just like a fresh, beachy scent. I think I've worn it like once this year. I do like the soap a little bit better. I bought one of the soaps because I thought maybe my daughter or my mom would like it. Um, the soap's a little bit better, but it's just kind of one of those in-between scents for me. Um, Oh my gosh, these are kind of out of order. Uh, Fresh Getaway. Fresh Getaway fits in with At the Beach. Um, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It is bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. Um, like my my scents I dislike, like Hibiscus uh, Paradise, I could never wear out of the house. I'm like, uh-uh, I, I have to wash it off. But uh, Fresh Getaway, I kind of like, I like the citrus in it. But it's a little too beachy. I found I really don't wear this set often. You know me, I'm a foodie too. So if you're watching my channel for any length of time or if you're new, welcome. <laughs> but you know that I love the foodie scents um, so much. Uh, sea Salt Lavender is another one that I kind of like. Um, but I don't really wear it all that often, I found. You know, it's funny, you buy scents and then you're like, you just never wear them. Sea Salt Lavender is that one. It's not a bad scent at all. If you like um, a nice beachy lavender, you're going to love that one. Um, let me see here. Where's my other ones? Um, so now we're moving into, and there's actually a lot of them now. We're moving into the scents that are more the best. So we went from the bad, the middle, and now we're moving into the best. So I think one of the best scents this year for beachy coconut, which I didn't think I was going to like at all, is um, the fresh cotton, and, uh, fresh coconut and cotton. It's coconut coastal breeze and beachside cotton. I don't like cotton scents. So I, when I saw this one, oh, I forgot um, Sea Island Shore. That was the one I forgot to put in here. I don't like that one. That's in the bad list. Um, they did a really good job with the coconut on this one. I think this one is fresh. I've actually worn this a couple times. I like it as a shower gel. So that's on my best list, I'll have to say. Um, Sparkling Peach Sangria. This is more of a tropical drink. Um, they had this whole collection a couple years ago, the Lemon Drop one. I feel like this collection has seen its day and moved on, but I did like uh, the Sparkling Peach Sangria, even though I don't love peach. Um, it just had a nice kind of summer uh, drinky burst to it that I think is nice. I do, however, think... Oh, wait, where'd my summer melody go? I had it in front of me. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, where did it, I hit these all in order? Okay, we're gonna have to wait on Summer Melody because I, it's in here somewhere. Okay, Mango Mai Tai. Let's move on to Mango Mai Tai. Why didn't they bring this one back? Fruit Fizz collection from last year, Mango Nectar, Sun Kiss Guava, and Sugar Cane. This one is a nice, um, to me it's a tropical. 
because it's got mango in it. Oh my gosh, this one is fabulous. And look at the bottle. We really should have seen this one back this year. Um, wonderful. That is definitely on my best list. Golden Ocean Pearl is another one on my best list that came out this year. I didn't think I was going to like it at all. It is so wonderful. This is like really high up on my list, like top 10. Um, I like the amber in here. Golden Amber, Bergamot Breeze, Vanilla Orchid. I think it's the amber that brings it together. I've been using this one a lot. I think it's really relaxing. Um, I think it's still 50% off. By the way, nothing new on semi-annual sale today other than free shipping. So if you want to take advantage of 75% off, use the free shipping because that's like about the only good thing going on. Um, Midnight Swim. I like Midnight Swim. I, I kind of got hooked on this one last year. Remember the lighthouse? Um, this to me is not a super fresh scent. I don't know. It's fresh coastal air, blue waters, beach flower. It's a little sweeter scent. I like the sweetness in that one. So that's definitely on my um, on my yay list. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Oh, sea, sea, sea salt and lavender. This is the other version that came out this year. I'm going to start putting these back in here because I'm running out of room, you guys. Um, oh, Summer Melody. I keep calling this Summer Medley. It's kind of a Summer Medley. It is Golden Honeydew and Bronzed Vanilla. I like this one. Again, another one I didn't think I'd like. To me, this has got a tropical summer vibe. Pull this one out, use it for summer, uh, because Poppy is coming soon. By the way, um, I wanted to get into the store today. I got up late, I started cleaning, I just got really um, disorganized and I ended up not going out today. But I'm gonna try and get in later in the week to see if we have fall candles. Honestly, I kind of thought, you know what, they're probably not gonna have them in and then I wasted a trip all the way up there. <laughs> I went grocery shopping too. Um, this is Key West. Coconut water, saltwater waves, and fresh melon. A lot of people liked um, Key West. Was Key West, that's what I was trying to figure out. Is Key West um, the other one? Uh, summertime Surf. They're very similar, I think. Is this the one? Maybe not. I don't know. These kind of blend together for me. Key West was not, wasn't on my, like, woohoo list, but I actually kind of like Key West because it's more of a fruity tropical um, I do like, oh my gosh, where did Belize go? I've got Belize in here. Oh my gosh. Belize, it's a boozy daiquiri banana scent. It is banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands. I didn't think I would miss this one as much as I did. Because I know last year, like a lot of us were like, do we like it? Do we not like it? Is it too boozy? We wanted more banana. By the way, Sugar Milk Company, that banana is wonderful. Like, that's the banana I want. I want a banana vanilla. This one is kind of, it's an odd mix, but I kind of miss it this year. I had one shower gel that I threw in the shower, and I actually really like it. So I'm kind of missing um, uh, Belize. Um, let's see. Oh, Vanilla Coconut, which is the whipped um, vanilla from Mother's Day a couple years ago. This, oh my gosh, I can't see this. Uh, whipped vanilla, peach blossom, and warm coconut. I like this one. This one's a good one. Nothing wrong with it. I think it's wonderful for summer and tropical. It just smells a little bit more peachy than it does like vanilla coconut. I don't know why they call it vanilla coconut. I am missing coconut lime this year. I'm glad I have one from last year. This was so refreshing. It is coconut lime sparkling, oh, coconut cream, sparkling lime, and salt water waves. I like this one a lot. There's nothing better than a little lime. We didn't get cherry limeade back this year. And we didn't get coconut lime. We're definite, uh, definitely missing lime. Something had lime in it. Um, you know what had lime in it? I know it had lime in it. Watermelon. Oops, I'm knocking everything over. Watermelon Blast. Our only burst of lime this year um, was the pink watermelon blast. And they did a good job with the lime in this one. So maybe that was our that was our limey scent for the season. But I do miss coconut lime um, a lot. That was a good one. Coconut pineapple came back. That was this one. Check it out. I love coconut pineapple. I'm trying to figure out if they changed it up or not. I don't think they did. A lot of people weren't crazy about this one this year. I actually like this one. This has always been a favorite of mine. I love pineapple. Um, I think they smell pretty much the same, but it could be a batch difference, but that is definitely on my best list. I really, really like that one. Um, grapefruit Frosé. Remember Grapefruit Frosé? They were clearancing this off 
like December last year. I like it. It's like, I don't wear it a lot because it's like a grapefruit, grapefruit scent, but it's a good one. Um, next up, oh, Fiji Sunshine Glavatini. I love this one. This is definitely on my best list. I wear this a lot in the summer. This one to me really smells like summer. I like guava in the summer as long as I don't mix it with suntan lotion or any sort of like heavy floral. Um, Belly Black Coconut Sands. Sad we didn't get this one back. This is a really nice creamy uh, tropical coconut. I love this one. Oh my gosh. I have a lot of backups on Belly Black Coconut Sands, but that one's a really, really good one. We never got back Tiki, uh, Tiki Bay Island Margarita either. Um, smells just like the candle. It's a good one. If you This has got lime in it too, I think. I don't know the scent notes, but this has got a little bit of lime. It's definitely more of an evening scent. It's kind of heavy. Okay, so there was a collection that came back a couple of years ago. Oh, by the way, Oahu Coconut Sunset. I couldn't find this morning. I don't know what I did with it. That's a fabulous one. That is on my best list. We had that back last year. But this collection is wonderful, and I really hope they bring this back next year. It is hibiscus guava fresca, iced pear margarita, and agava papaya sunset. This was a semi-annual sale collection that was around for a long time, and um, it's good. It's really good. I wish they would bring these back. I'm kind of putting my hope into this one, especially. Uh, Ice Pear Margarita is fabulous. They need to add that into their uh, spring collection next year. And then, of course, um, Waikiki Beach Coconut It's kind of the flagship of the tropical collection. I like it. I always get excited for Waikiki Beach Coconut every year. I wear it. Um, in June and July, for the most part, we got it this year in two different bottle styles. We got the faceted, and then we got the green one for semi-annual sale. It's good if you like any type of tropical. But I think the best tropical this year, in my opinion, is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. So this is the uh, Sweet Pink Pineapple Palm Sugar and Sun Drenched Nectar. They did a good job with Pink Pineapple Sunrise, I think. Um, totally original totally fresh. It's sweet, got a little hint of tropical, and they didn't put anything like beachy in it, which I'm so glad. Um, Sundrenched nectar, that smells more fruity, but I was worried that when I first saw this one come out, I'm like, I hope they didn't ruin it with too much like sea salt or driftwood or musk or anything like that. They didn't. Um, so overall, looking back, on the summer beachy tropical collection. I think this is actually the best one um, of the bunch. It would not surprise me if we get this back next year. I feel like this is popular this year. I actually have it in, let me grab this. I have it in the body butter. I've been using the body butter quite a bit actually. I like the body butter. Um, it, it just makes you feel nice and fresh, um, you know, just fruity, fruity fresh. I like fruity. <laughs> Great on your legs after shaving. So that was my winner for the season. So if I had to pick an absolute best, my absolute best would have to be Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I think if I had to pick um, my absolute least favorite scent that's the absolute bad, but it's just for me because I know a lot of people like that, is the Hibiscus Paradise. There's something just so weird and heavy about Hibiscus Paradise. I do not like that one at all. Never have. You know what else I forgot? Oops, that probably made a horrible noise. Um, you know what else I forgot to add in here is um, uh, Midsummer Dream, which came out last year. I felt like that was really ordinary. I don't know why. I was not overly excited about Midsummer Dream. It kind of came and went. Um, and it wasn't like, woohoo, great scent. But um, next up, we've got Poppy coming. I can't wait for that. I keep checking my app to see if there's anything um, new. I'm kind of wondering what happens tomorrow at Bath & Body Works. Tomorrow should be kind of a, a little bit of a transitional day because they've only got less than two weeks of semi-annual sale left. They got like what? 13 days, 13 days, and it's all over. So get what you want now. Today at least is 50%, I mean, 50 out, 50% off. <laughs> Free shipping on 50. I had 50% of my brain. They keep adding in 75% off. You gotta get on early, I think. Um, a few people are saying there were candles. I never saw the candles. My store does not have any 75% off candles right now, but I'm gonna try and get in the store sometime 
um, in the next week to see if I can pick up some fall stuff. But I really wanted to do a uh, trip back to summer. Check it out. I got my 902 Peach Pit, Peach Pit shirt on with the palm trees. <laughs> We're doing summer today, although later I might do a little bit of a fall video. I can't help it. I can't help myself. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your best tropical and your baddest tropical. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.